Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now that Lineage OS is out and finally like a more of a nightly build that they're used to doing since the uh, CyanogenMod mod shut down. So now I guess it's back on its feet and today I'll be showing you how to install it and then I guess we'll go poking around and having a look at what's new or what's not there. So first off you're going to need a device that has an unlocked bootloader and has a custom recovery installed such as TWRP. Now I guess that is kind of the standard that we are having here on a a modified device here. So if you're already rooted and things like that, or you've already flashed a custom ROM, uh, most most likely you already have TWRP and pretty much all the requirements available. So to get started, we're going to go over to the official Lineage OS web website thing to download it. Now the address I'll have it down in the more info below, and it's just download.lineageos.org forward slash angler, which is the name of the Nexus 6P. So I've downloaded the latest nightly file over here, just so recently uploaded. And of course, uh, you'll need to download this, and you also need to download your choice of Google Apps. Make sure you select ARM64 as the platform, and make sure you also select Android 7.1, as that is what uh, Lineage OS is based off. And of course, select your variant that you like. I prefer Mini because of its small size, but yet still has uh, some of the apps there. But if you want a close to stock experience, such as something you get from the factory images, of course you can select the stock uh, variant of this and just hit this red download button down here, down below, and you'll be able to download your Google Apps package. So those are the two files that we need. And of course, uh, once you have those two downloaded, copy it to your device or we can sideload it, however you like. But I've copied it to my device already and we're going to get started with the installation process. So of course, we'll always need to go back to our phone so for the greasy screen, but I guess it is what it is. So I'm going to make a backup of my current ROM, which is the Pure Nexus ROM here, uh, just in case, just for a precautionary, uh, these are some precautionary steps here, which is also always pretty good to take. So I'm going to go into settings and then also disable the any screen locks I have. That is very important before making a backup in TWRP. So I'm going to tap over to security, tap on screen lock, to get to my pattern and then just select swipe and remove uh, any protection there. Otherwise, when you restore your backup, uh, it'll always say that your pattern or password or passcode is incorrect. So right now, I'm going to reboot back or reboot into the recovery. Now, Pure Nexus has the, the multi-reboot menu. And if you don't have this, just power off your device. I'll just show you. Otherwise, you can select recovery there. Otherwise, uh, power off your device. And once it's turned off, all you have to do is hold power and volume down and that'll reboot your device into the bootloader and which then there you can uh, enter the recovery uh, using that menu. So I'm going to wait here and I guess it's also handy to get your I guess USB charging cable here just so we can make sure our device doesn't run out of battery while it's, it's making a backup in TWRP. So once we're turned off or if you're already in TWRP just wait a sec all you have to do is hold power and volume down until you get to the bootloader screen. Now if you hold it and it's been more than 10 seconds or a few seconds, just let go and your device will or should automatically boot into the bootloader. Once you're in, press the volume down buttons until we get into recovery mode and then press the power button to select it. Now at this point you can pretty much reconnect your power, your USB power cable here. If I can just unhook mine and plug it in. And we'll just wait for our phone to boot into TWRP. Alrighty, once we're in, we're going to make a backup here. Tap backup and just this will do. Uh, we don't need to change much. We're going to swipe to backup. And this will probably take perhaps maybe five minutes, I guess, depending on how much data you need to backup. But usually this uh, does go through pretty quickly. So I'm going to either skip or fast forward this step and we'll be back when it finishes making a backup. Alrighty, so we're finished backing up currently. It took 241 seconds, so I don't know, work it out. Anyway, so once we're done backing up, we can pretty much leave the backup on our device, although it is probably safer to copy it to your computer somewhere in case you really, really, really need it. But I'm a little bit, you know, I don't really mind. So as long as I got my factory images ready, I can always go back to a working phone at least. But yeah, you can copy it back to your computer 
uh, if you wanted to. But now is the exciting part. Know that these instructions will maybe differ in the future uh, as we have to do something a little bit special here before as per, well, as it's not very normal to do this. Losing my words, but uh, we're going to do the standard procedure now. We're going to go wipe and we're going to swipe to factory reset. We might also wipe the system uh, if things don't go well. Okie dokie. We can go back and then tap on install. Scroll down to wherever you copied your the Lineage OS zip. There it is. And once we flash this, we're not going to flash the Google Apps just yet. We're going to go through, or we're going to start our phone up once and then reboot back into the recovery and do it. And then flash Google Apps once more. Uh, otherwise, if you do choose to flash Google Apps, you can actually tap on all four corners of the setup wizard. So the top left to the top right, to the bottom right, to the bottom left and then that will bypass the setup wizard, at least on SignageMod or Lineage OS builds. So we're gonna wait for this uh, to patch the system accordingly, and then we're gonna reboot without flashing Google Apps just yet. So I'm gonna fast forward this until it finishes flashing. Okie dokie, so we're finished, and it looks like that was good. So we're going to reboot the system right now, or maybe we'll wipe the cache slash Dalvik, and then reboot our system. Now once this is, uh, oh, we're going to see the new, I guess, uh, boot animation as well. And once we start up, we should be able to go back into the recovery and then flash the Google Apps that we need. So I guess uh, this process can probably be sped up a little bit. I want to see the boot animation first. Uh, not bad, not bad. So yeah, I'm going to fast forward this until we get to the end and hopefully we'll see our device up and running without Google Apps so far. Okie dokie, so that took about, let's just say about three, four minutes, and this is looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. So Synergy Mod, sorry, Lineage also has its own setup screen here, so even if you don't flash Google Apps, you'll be able to set up your phone uh, to some degree here. So things like Wi-Fi networks and things like that, uh, you'll be able to set up. And maybe I can lower the brightness. Let me try adjust that. I check, it's just the normal setup screen, so I'll just enter in my Wi-Fi password and we'll get cracking. Okay, so now it's asking us to if we want to turn on mobile data. I think uh, having a look at this is quite interesting. So just one moment while I adjust the, what you might call it, the, the white balance on this. Make it automatic. Sorry if it looks grainy and dark, but this will have to do. Next, fingerprint setup. Uh, we can also do that. And we also have an ability to set up a pin or something like this. Uh, that is fine. And let's start. Uh, I, that wallpaper looks familiar. Anyway, we got it. And it looks like we have an update available, which I didn't see on the website. Uh, that might be just a little, little thing. Maybe I should also get autofocus. Uh, it looks better. So far, so good. Let's see what we have here. Anything special? Um, they got live display so far and I think that's the kind of like night mode sort of thing oh that's interesting that's good um, I don't think they have much else going on here got some button um, customization I think which is quite usual quite the norm on this we've got system profiles and privacy privacy has oh protected apps that's also cool putting a passcode behind apps and all that and let's see if we can change the battery meter. I guess not. Well, that is uh, quite interesting, quite good so far. It's very basic, I guess, so far. There isn't really any amazing features yet baked into it, uh, as I, if I can tell right now. Um, yeah, please let me know down in the comments if, you, if there are things I've missed out. And I'm, I guarantee there'd be some. So now we're going to get Google Apps on this thing because we didn't flash it, and therefore we don't have no Play Store. So if the Advanced Reboot menu isn't here, okay, it's not, I'm going to quickly enable that. So if you want the Advanced Reboot thing, oh, they also got a status bar changing thing. That's where all the customization is at right now. So if you want to change or enable the, the Advanced Reboot menu, you can go ahead and enable USB debugging, sorry, developer options, 
And so I just tapped on the Android, not Android version, was it? Build number. Sorry. Tap on the build number seven times, go back, and open up developer options, and then check advanced restart. So now when we restart or press the restart button, we'll see, we'll get all these options. So we're going to revert back into the recovery and flash our Google Apps package. So hopefully this doesn't take too long and we'll boot into TWRP quite quickly. Okie dokie, so we're just booting into TWRP here and we will do the exact same thing. We're going to go tap on install, scroll all the way down or find out where your Google Apps package is, tap on it and swipe to flash. Now hopefully this will also be able to remove, I guess, some apps. It looks like it can, uh, can. And we'll just wait for this to install the Google Apps and we'll reboot after this. So I'm gonna fast forward this, these steps right now and we'll see where it goes. Alrighty, so uh, we just finished flashing the zip. I'm just gonna, actually we'll wipe the cache again. I don't think the first time is necessary, but we'll do it here uh, just for the sake of it. And then we're going to reboot the system. So after this, we should be able to get access to the Play Store and things like that. I guess this should also, I'm not sure if it includes Google Chrome or anything like that, but uh, yeah, we shall see. So if you want to clean up anything, you can probably download a system app remover once you have installed the Google Apps package of your choice. And then I guess, yeah, check it out uh, with without the apps that you don't want there. So I'm going to wait for this to boot up again. I'm going to fast forward until we get to the Android screen and then we'll check things out from there. Okay, so we're just finishing up again, booting. And every time you clear the cache, it takes forever. But uh, well, that is uh, what is expected. So uh, it's kind of obvious we're going to get a few four stops here and there. But um, I read on Reddit that a few um, apps may start misbehaving. But if you just clear the data, it should work just as fine. Uh, I guess. So hopefully we can see the Google Play Store, and yes we do, along with some other goodies there, such as Gmail, the Google App, and the Google Now Launcher, and as long as this thing works, uh, I guess we're good to go. So when you open the Play Store, it will ask you to add your Google account, or you can do it manually through the settings and add it through there, the Accounts menu. So this will just check everything and make sure it's all alright. And I didn't check, but this should also have a built-in rooting solution or root solution. Um, if not, so I downloaded a root checker app and found out that it doesn't actually have root properly installed. So what I've done is just downloaded SuperSU uh, from Chainfire's website, and I've and I'm going to flash it in TWRP as we will see now. So I'm going to go over to my downloads and then flash that. Okie dokie, so I've just finished flashing SuperSU, it took me a while to get it right, ended up flashing the wrong version. Uh, sorry that the camera's all weird and black, I turned off the lights, but this will be very quick. Now, it may look funny to you, but hopefully this will work, as I've installed the right version actually this time, and now we're rooted. So you will need to flash SuperSU in TWRP to get uh, Lineage OS rooted for, or for the time being, and yeah, so now everything's going really weird. So I'm going to end the video here. And so thank you guys for watching. And I do have some other videos planned up, such as a, a few more general guides that I want to make out and push out there for just people to watch and I guess hopefully learn something, a thing or two about, uh, I guess, flashing factory images and even flashing custom ROMs. So hopefully I'll be able to get that out. Uh, can't offer any exact times, but hopefully uh, soon TM. So maybe in, within the next month or something like that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one.